What's going on guys? Eric from the Wisco guys here and in today's video we're going to be working on the parts for Big Chev. So if you haven't checked out the latest video, we picked up a visor for it. So definitely check that video out if you're confused with what's going on. Check that one out, I'll put it in a link at the top here. So now we got to get this sanded down. We don't want it this color so we got to color get it painted in black. But first we gotta take out these lights, or these lenses for these lights, and then we can do what we need to do. Got them off. All right, so now we're gonna just take an orbital sander and we're just gonna sand it with 320 grit sandpaper. Alrighty guys, so update here. We got the rocker covers actually all sanded down. Aaron said, hey, get these things sanded and I will shoot them black too along with the visor and the cab corners. I'll show you those real quick. So we got the visor all sanded out and we have the uh, Redneck Randy cab corners primed and sanded as well too. So this stuff is all ready to go, be shot in black. And I think it's gonna look really good, like really, really good. So, um, but yeah, everything's prepped to get painted. Aaron will be doing that tomorrow. Today's for Friday. Yeah, today's Friday. So tomorrow he's gonna paint that. I'm actually going to a car show to announce for. Um, probably just idle the Firebird down there. Currently that that car, uh, the Firebird actually has a broken tailpipe. So I gotta wire that back up somehow. Uh, I'm going to try to do that tonight, but I'll do it off camera. It's not very interesting. Um, if you want to see the cool little video I did, follow me on Instagram, and you can see the cool little video I did with the broken exhaust, and you can check that out. Uh, definitely follow, though, to get some funny videos and have a little laugh. So, um, But, yeah, next clip you should see is Aaron actually painting uh, the rocker covers and the, uh, the visor and everything. So should look pretty good. Um, and then we'll continue on when um, we're ready to install that stuff. We will we'll show you that process too. So, um, but yeah, next clip should be Aaron painting. So check it out. Alrighty, so those last clips you you seen Aaron spraying the vent visors or the vent visors, the visor, the roof visor, the roof moon visor. Just learned that term. The roof moon visor, and then or the cab moon visor, the cab corners, the redneck Randy cab corners. Got those painted. Then, of course the moon visor, cab moon visor. And we also got the rocker covers, which are also painted to match too. So that's looking pretty good. This is all gonna match, put it on the truck. It's gonna look good now. I have yellow lenses that we took out of these, as you've seen, but 
should we go with clear and looking at them and then just do yellow lighting i don't know we'll, we'll see debating on that one but well, this looks really good so we'll get those on at a later date we'll let those set up over the over the week and then we'll get them put on so Alrighty, so we have the visor here. I actually put the lights in. I got the lights in there. I just got to screw them in. Uh, tested already. They still light up, so that's good. We kind of got everything just taped it for now back there. So we're going to get these screwed in. The back side of the lamp there, they got a little screw hole, so they got to do that. Then we'll get the lenses on. Get the lenses on up front here. And then we'll get this onto there. I think I'm going to invest in new lenses just because these ones are so sun faded and crack, like they get little hairline cracks in them. So I think at some point we'll just change these lenses out. But for right now, we're going to run these ones. But we'll run them. So got all of them on there. Looking pretty good. Now, you got to get it on the truck. Alrighty, so we got it on there. Just taped. We're going to start drilling holes. Um, I got it lined up best I could. I took measurements, just checking side to side, and I think, I think we got her. I think it looks just right. Door's clear, so and it's pretty straight. So let's get it on there. So now I'm just drilling holes to get the screw, the self-tapping screws in there. Alrighty, I'm gonna finish the rest of those and then I'm gonna actually take it back off and then try to seal it with butyl. Um, butyl Alrighty, so got all the got all the screws in there. Should have got new screws, but whatever. Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. Um, but yeah, they're they're in there. So I'm gonna take this actually back off. I'm gonna butyl tape the undersides and then put it back on and then we'll start wiring this thing. But so far, I think it looks pretty good. Looks damn good. So let me get it back off. We'll butyl tape it and get it back on. Alrighty, so I got butyl tape all on there. Just a little thin ring, get it on there. We're gonna put that back up there and then we're gonna seal it down or hammer it down or whatever. Screw it down and then should be good. Alrighty, so we're back on. I got the butyl on there. Uh, everything's tightened up. So that's on. Now I gotta work on the wiring. So we're gonna pull power actually from the marker lamp. I heard you can't pull power from the switch. So I'm gonna run that wiring down the A pillar into the fender, along the fender, upper fender. And then we're gonna run it into here. So let's get that done next. Pop this hood. Alrighty, we got the headlight out of the way. Just gonna get this marker lamp. at here 
It's this inside bolt, well, middle bulb. Not that one, not that one, this one. And we're gonna try to pull power from that harness there. So brown wire's power. Okay. So we're gonna tap into that. All right, so I got the wires all done there, hooked up. I got them to the reel. Just throwing out my wires for slack. I got the ground hidden behind this weather strip. So that's where we're gonna hide that. We're gonna go through the fender and then the ground is gonna hit this point right here. So we're gonna do that. And then the red wire, power wire, is gonna go down into the turn signal right down here. And it's gonna go into that brown wire there. And we're gonna get power off of that. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll show you once it's all done and hopefully it turns on. Alrighty, so I got this quick connect here on the marker lamp. I got the ground to the battery, like, I don't know, the support thing, I don't know, who knows. But it's above the battery, got that in there. You see the wire right there. So let's see if this turns on. I don't know if it's gonna turn on, I, I, I hope so. Yes! There we go. Whew, that was a lot of work. Got that. I still gotta put the caps back on. I still gotta put the headlights back in. But we're in business. We got it lighted. Oh, that's so much work. <laughs> but it's worth it. So I'm going to get all this stuff plugged back in. Make sure my bulb still works. My blinker still works. That's good. And those ain't blinking, so that's good. Perfect. Alrighty, let's get all this back together and then we'll just admire what we did. So, so the last thing's last. We got these little button things here. So I'm gonna put those on. Uh, we'll take it outside. Let's see how this thing looks. All right, so this is gonna be the look. Oh yeah, that's what we like. I think I might have put it a little, ah, that's just right. It'll be fine, looks good. The tint and everything. Should be lined up, I hope. Oh yeah dead center looks good look at that so lights work perfect oh that was tough but it was a good find Aaron painted it looks great um, to install I, I mean it's not the easiest thing but it's not the hardest thing either if you had a, someone helping you install it it'd probably go a lot quicker Took me about took me about two hours, um, and that's just me just putzing, not even like just making sure it's good side to side and everything, and just making sure it's really good. So yeah, looks good. I like it. So definitely, guys, subscribe to the channel and uh, definitely hit that like button. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good night or day or whatever you happen or whatever you're having. See you guys. Bye.